All right, welcome back to the fourth video. And this is the most fun for me because it's it just, you get to play with the numbers. You get to play with the value of things. And it just all around can be fun if you're willing to allow yourself to do so. Now, the fourth core belief that they must believe is they must believe that the solution that you are offering has a greater value than what you're asking in return. Basically, they have to believe that solving their problem will bring them more money than it's going to cost them to get the solution from you. Okay, so how do we actually do that? Right. It's simple. We learn to quantify the cost of not having the solution, the cost of continuing on while still having the problem. So let's just say what you need is $100,000 a month, right? You're going to make $1.2 million a year. That's your goal. Well, here's the problem. You've been stuck at 60000 $60, a month, right? So at 60000 a month, you're only making 720000 a year. That's leaving you short quite a bit, right? Well, we don't want to stay there. So what's the opportunity cost? Well, you take $120,000 and you take away the $72,000 and what you have left is what? That's your opportunity cost, okay? So that an, an extra $40,000 a month in opportunity cost, $40,000. I want you to think about that. That's $480,000 of lost revenue, $480,000 of cost in the first year alone. Think about that for a second. If it's going to cost you $480,000 to not have the solution, well, then it should certainly be worth $50,000 to get the solution, right? Absolutely, because you spent $50,000 on that. And within a year, you've just increased your yearly income $430,000 by having the solution. And that's a pretty small pittance to pay, right? So what we do is the opportunity cost. We help them quantify the outcome of having your solution and continuing without your solution. And then you compare the two. That difference between those two, with your solution and without your solution, that difference is the quanti quantified value of the solution. Not of your program, not of your offer, not of your product. That doesn't matter. Help them understand the value of the solution, not the vehicle that will get them there. Because you're not trading time for money here. You're letting them purchase a solution at a discount price. And when you understand that fully and you play with those numbers, you, you help them see. And what's really cool is you can help them do it in their business really, really easy. One of the great examples I love using is the intangible businesses. Well, Chad, hey, um, I work as a marriage counselor. How, I mean, how do you quantify the value or the cost of, of counseling? Well, it's really simple. I would start off and I'd say, well, how much, how much do, you, do you make a year? And they'll say 100,000. I say, okay, $100,000 a year. And do you have a home? He says, yeah. Uh, do, you, do you own it or are you still paying a mortgage on it? Or are you renting? And they'll say, um, paying a mortgage. Okay, cool. How much, how, much, how much is the house? Okay, great. Good. Right. So we start looking at a $250,000 house, pretty low, but you know, $100,000 a year. Well, do you have any children? Yeah, I've got three children. Okay, cool. So at $100,000 a year, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to pull the alimony out of that because if you don't get counseling, chances are you guys are going to continue to leave unresolved issues. This is going to bring anxiety, angst, stress, mistrust, Eventually, it's going to lead in a divorce. And we all know that when it comes to a divorce, especially here in America, you're going to give up a good chunk of your money back to her in alimony support because you've given her a certain lifestyle, which she's accustomed to. Now, in addition to that, you're probably going to be paying an extra couple thousand dollars a month in child support every year until your children are 18 years or older, depending on whether or not they go to college, because you can still pay you know, child support even when they're in college. But let's not forget the house. Because she's going to get the house and the dog, right? Because she's going to need a place to put the kids in her because that's just what's going to happen. So not only are you going to lose the house that you spent your whole life working towards, you're going to lose half your income 
taxes. Half of what's left is going to go to alimony and child support. You're going to be living on $20,000 a year. She's going to get the house. And on $20,000 a year, you're going to have to either go out and find yourself a rental or buy yourself a tiny home somewhere in the middle of nowhere because you're not going to have any money left. Now, all in all, if you're looking at that in itself, let's just say you're going to spend uh, $2,000 a month on alimony and $1,000 a month on child support, right? How old are your kids? They're going to say 10. Okay, cool. Eight more years. Eight more years at $3,000 a month at 72,000 times eight. You're looking at darn near half a million dollars in cost of not just getting the counseling. I mean, does $15,000 for a month of weekend counseling with me really seem like that much in comparison to a half a million dollar bill for not having it? So what you want to do is you want to quantify it by looking at their situation, by looking at their clients, their problems, their lifestyle, and say, okay, what is the value of this solution to them? Not what is the value of my offer to me, but what is the value of the solution to them? And when they understand that what you're asking for is far less than the cost of not having it, they believe that they can't get it anywhere else. They know that you will solve that problem and that that problem in their life must be solved. You're almost guaranteed a sale. Why? Because they can't get the solution anywhere else in the way that you can deliver it at a price in which you can do it, which is a fraction of the value of the outcome. When you put those, those few things together, you're going to find that it is a perfect union. <laughs> That it, it's like it's like uh, four four fronts of an army all come converging on the same problem and just decimating it and knocking down all the barriers. Because if you hit all four of those points and you do it effectively, all other objections they really just fall away. If the problem has to be solved, you have the solution. It's far less than the outcome of not having it, and they believe that it will solve the problem. They're going to go to great lengths to get the money, even if they don't have it. And there's some really fun, creative ways that I've got that can help people find that money. Um, those who go in on the one-on-one -on -one coaching or the group coaching with me, we share those principles on how to, how to help people find the money without taking out loans, without begging and borrowing and stealing and pestering family and friends and asking for money. You know, there are ways to do that. It's called creative financing. And I'd love to talk with you more about that uh, if you're in one of the programs. I love going down deep dives and getting fun and creative. But what you need to understand most is if you cover these four principles and you do them effectively and you practice, you're going to find that sales are going to come easier. You're going to spend less time selling and more time serving because it becomes a natural form of communication. Now, if you're, if you're interested in learning how to actually transform those beliefs, like these are the core beliefs. This is why those beliefs are important, right? And I believe you're probably smart enough to figure them out on your own, just like I did. It took me 30 years to go through and figure out how to implement these, how to, how to make them happen, how to transform belief. And I'm sure you can as well. But if you're interested in doing that less than 30 years, then I encourage you down below this video right here, you're going to find a link. I encourage you to go ahead and fill an application and I'm just going to answer a few quick questions. And if I believe that I can help you, I'm going to reach out to you and we're going to have a conversation about what that looks like. If you'd like me in your corner, if you'd like to be able to call on me regularly, um, that's what I'm here for. You're already inside the program, so you see me once a month anyway, but fill out that application if you're thinking about wanting a good deep dive on some of the stuff in your business and really help you get that honed in. I look forward to seeing you guys soon, and I'm really excited about getting to see you on the next call. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.